Imagine you're cruising down the street and you notice everyone struggling to carry heavy grocery bags home. It's a common problem, right? So, you come up with an idea for a grocery delivery service. You create an app that allows people to order groceries from their favorite stores and have them delivered right to their doorstep. Suddenly, you've solved a big problem for a lot of people, and they're willing to pay you for the convenience. Or maybe you're at school, and you notice that students are always losing track of their assignments and due dates. You decide to create a student planner app that helps students organize their schedules and stay on top of their schoolwork. Now, you've solved a problem that many students face, and your app has become a must-have for students everywhere. Think about some of the biggest companies in the world today. Facebook started because Mark Zuckerberg wanted to connect students at Harvard University. Google began as a search engine to help people find information online more easily. Uber was created to solve the problem of getting a ride quickly and conveniently. All of these companies found a problem and created a solution that changed the way we live our lives. The journey is not going to be easy as we explain in their three case studies. Then we will wrap it up on how it can relate to your life. And how these stories can help you to unleash your own potential in the marketplace. It wasn't all rosy and a smooth walk for Mark Zuckerberg, managing the rapid expansion of the platform proved to be one of the most formidable tasks. As the sudden surge in users led to technical glitches like server crashes, Scaling up the company and swiftly hiring new employees to cope with the growth presented a significant hurdle. Additionally, Zuckerberg encountered crucial decisions regarding funding and investments. He rejected a $1 billion acquisition offer from Yahoo in 2006, which caused internal conflicts within the management team. As a young CEO, he grappled with intense criticism from the media and industry experts who doubted Facebook's potential and questioned his capabilities, labeling him a toddler CEO and accusing him of idea theft. Privacy concerns and legal disputes further complicated matters, with ongoing battles over user data sharing and allegations of intellectual property theft. Zuckerberg's failure to effectively communicate Facebook's mission in its early days resulted in internal strife and the departure of key management personnel. Despite these formidable challenges, Zuckerberg's perseverance and innovative spirit ultimately propelled Facebook to become the tech giant it is today. Although issues such as privacy breaches and content moderation continue to plague the company's journey. As for Google, they were slapped with their own number of challenges too, in the beginning, Google faced some tough challenges as it tried to grow its search engine. One big problem was handling all the searches people were doing. Back when it started at Stanford, Google could only handle about 10,000 searches a day. But as it got more popular, it had to figure out how to deal with over 50 million searches every single day. That was a huge technical challenge. As Google turned from a small project into a real company, one of its founders, Sergey Brin, had to learn how to manage people. Imagine trying to lead a team of 170 employees. It was a big job, and Sergey had to learn how to keep everyone happy and motivated. Even though Google had a great search engine, it took a while for them to make money from it. They tried different things, like Google AdWords and Google AdSense, which lets companies put ads next to search results. It wasn't easy, but eventually, they figured out how to make it work and started making a lot of money from it. At first, not everyone believed in Google. Some experts in the media didn't think it would succeed. But Google proved them wrong by showing how useful its search engine was. Google also had some legal troubles, Winklevoss twins accused the founders of stealing ideas from them. But despite all these challenges, Google kept improving its search engine and finding new ways to make money. And now, it's one of the biggest and most important companies in the world. As for Uber in the beginning, it had some tough challenges to overcome as it tried to grow its ride-sharing platform. One of the biggest hurdles was building all the technology needed to make it work smoothly. They had to create mobile apps for different types of phones, like iPhones and Androids a website for managing everything, and a system for matching riders with drivers in real time. This was a big job, especially since so many people started using Uber right away. Another challenge was figuring out how to make money while offering rides at affordable prices. They had to come up with a business plan that worked, including deciding how much to charge for rides and how much to pay drivers. It was important to make sure they could keep growing without running out of money. Uber also faced a lot of rules and regulations from governments and taxi companies. They had to deal with issues like safety concerns, taxes, and disagreements about how drivers should be classified. This led to protests and legal battles in many places where Uber wanted to operate. In the early days, Uber's founders had to decide whether to accept offers from investors who wanted to give them money. They even turned down a huge offer to buy the company for $1 billion. This caused some disagreements within the company about what direction to take. As Uber grew really quickly, they had to hire a lot of new people and make sure everything kept running smoothly. They also had to work hard to earn people's trust, especially because they were a new and different kind of company. Despite all these challenges and many court proceedings or allegations which we will not go into detail here, but one thing is certain Uber kept improving its technology and finding new ways to grow. Today, it's the biggest ride-sharing platform in the world, but it still faces some of the same challenges it did when it started, like dealing with rules and making sure everyone stays safe. 
Overall, the three cases that we mentioned and there are many more out there show that building a great company is not going to be easy. There will be times when the water is boiling at your neck but you have to keep on swimming as they did. Now, let's talk about making your solution work for you, even when you're not actively working. Imagine you've created a popular YouTube channel that teaches people how to play musical instruments. You've uploaded hundreds of tutorials, and millions of people watch your videos every month. Even when you're not filming new content, you're still making money from ad revenue and merchandise sales. Or maybe you've written a best-selling book about personal finance. Every time someone buys your book, you earn royalties. You could be sitting on a beach sipping a tropical drink, and your book is still making you money. The key is to find a problem that needs solving, create a solution that people are willing to pay for, and then find a way to make that solution work for you in the long term. That's how you can build wealth and achieve financial freedom. Here are six more companies that went through hell during their beginning, if you are interested in how these companies solve their problems. Please watch the next video, we hope you enjoy this content and as always stay blessed.